before we begin with photosynthesis, the details of the chemical details, the equation of photosynthesis, we need to know the ma macroscopic, macroscopic, and the microscopic adaptations of a leaf that makes it capable for the process, which is photosynthesis. With your O level or IGCSE and AS knowledge, you of course know that the leaf is the food factory of a plant, right? And the reason why this is a food factory is that that's the plant, that's the part of the plant which is it. They're very densely and intensely green in color due to the presence of the substance pigment, which is uh, chlorophyll, which has the capability to trap sunlight. Okay? So when sunlight is trapped, what is the plant doing? Convert solar energy into chemical energy. And then that chemical energy will be utilized to make C6 stage 12 o So right now, this is a diagram of a leaf, which I would say that I'm showing you the macroscopy of a leaf. Macroscopy. Okay. Achha. Another thing is that, you know, uh, although you guys are in A2, but the examiners, Cambridge examiner, A2, ke na, words use karte hai, kaise? I'll tell you what words to use. Wo kehte hai, students ko, ke describe the, let me write down this, describe the anatomical anatomical and physiological adaptations of a leaf. Okay. You tell me, Abdullah, do you know the meaning of anatomical and physiological? Or should I tell you? No, I do not. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. The word anatomy means simply structure. Okay, let me just go to a new slide and tell you. They will ask you about the Yatwapse anatomy puchenge, or they will ask you about the physiology. Basically, these are, kuch nahi hai, these are names of subjects. They, in fact, next school the subjects. Anatomy means the study of the structure. Study the structure of anything like, for example, the anatomy of a leaf, the anatomy of a bone, the anatomy of a heart. Structure ki baat, okay? Physiology means this, the study of the function. For example, if I, if I say, okay, tell me the anatomy of a leaf, you can describe it as a leaf ka aisa size, hai, the shape is the color is the right? If I ask you what is the function of the leaf, then you will say that the leaf has the function of a... Uh, uh, Photosynthesizing, facilitating the process of photosynthesis. You have function ki baat karoge, hai? So, agar aapko examiner kehta hai ki write down the anatomical and the physiological adaptations of a leaf, so this means ki he is asking you ki aap thoda bahut structure ke baare mein bhi likho and function ke baare mein bhi likho. And then within anatomy, there is again a bifurcation, and that bifurcation is ki aapko ye dekhna hai ki examiner aapse kaun sa structure puchha hai. Is he asking you the macroscopic structure? The structure which you can see with your own eyes. Just kill up microscope ki zarwat na pade. Or he's asking you the microscopic structure. Okay? Kya pooch raha hai wa se? Kya ho sakta hai ki usne apne aapko question, the wording of the question are very general. Specify ni kiya usne bas lik diya hai ki describe the structural adaptations of the leaf. Okay? Teen tara ke questions ho sakta hai. Describe the structural adaptations of the leaf. Describe the macroscopic structural adaptation of the leaf or describe the microscopic. So in that case, it's your job to read the question properly. Okay. If a general question, then you will write these features and these features. And if you ask only this, then you will write it. And if you ask only this, then you will write it. So what can you see in this picture, Abdullah? Do you see the macroscopy or the microscopy in this picture? Macro. Macro, because you are looking at your eyes. Like you can, you, in real life also, you can see it with your own, own natural eyes. You don't need to use, uh, you need a microscope to, you, to have a look at this. Okay? There are many features hai, which you can write down as far as the macroscopy of the leaf is concerned. Which features? Which features are linked to photosynthesis. Okay? So, can you think about any feature which is very, very obvious to you on this diagram? 
which you think has a connection with photosynthesis. Yes. Uh, the, the veins. Okay, the fine. Leaf. The veins. What? The, the wait, leaf. Wait. Has let's, let's, over. The leaf. First, first, let's take into account the veins. Okay, so if you're saying veins, then what do what will veins do in photosynthesis? Make Water a is able to like move to every edge of the leaf. Okay, good. So why do you think that water should move to every edge of the leaf? Your answer should be because photosynthesis connected to this equation. Huh. Yeah. Do you think do you, do you think water is an essential raw material for photosynthesis? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So this is how you will say. You will say that one of the macroscopic adaptations of a leaf is the presence of this extensive network of veins scattered throughout the leaf. And this network will facilitate the movement of water everywhere. And water is, an, uh, is a raw material for photosynthesis. Any other feature which you can see over here? The... Veins, small netted veins. What about the uh, messy right? Pick a cover B. Say that's covered by the leaf cover. Um, uh, yeah, this one, this nine no, SK right, right, the left, SK right, it's a woo. Oh, I can't see. That's the branches, basically. Achha, oh, okay. no. Sorry, yeah. not the branch. Wait, wait, wait. No. Not the branches. I think that's the blade. Yes, that's the blade. I think I should write it down. The leaf blade. Okay. And okay. this is the midrib. Mid this water, like, in sub ka kya significance? Huh? Okay, I'll tell you. Leaf blade. The leaf blade is very thin and uh, it is thin so that sunlight can easily pass through it. Okay. Achha. And the surface of the leaf, this is the blade, which is its margins. Okay. It is thin so that it can be sunlight uh, trap and gases can also be used. Now, the surface of the leaf is flat. Okay. The surface of the leaf, it is flat. It has a large surface area. So, the more the surface area, the more the chances that the leaf will trap sunlight. Okay. Another thing is that there is a midrib in the center, and this midrib has what? It has the vascular bundle xylem and phloem. So the xylem will carry, you should you should mention this: the xylem will carry water, and the phloem will carry C6H12O6. Some kind of phloem carry karta hai, glucose or sucrose. So the food carry karta hai. So ek jo vessel hai, wo carry karega water, jo ke hume chahiye photosynthesis ke liye, and the other vessel will carry food. Okay, so in the center, in the midrib, we have vascular bundle. Not only midrib the vascular bundle, but in every place the vascular bundle. You can you know, mention the vascular bundle anywhere. And another thing which you can see over here is the petiole. Petiole means that when you see a plant, it does not erupt directly leaves erupt like this. They, they never erupt like this. They always erupt like this. There is a small stem and after that, the leaf comes. And this part, ye jo, iska jo lamba wala part hota hai na, jo ke attach hua water stem pe, this is known as the petiole or the stalk of the leaf. Now the advantage of having this petiole is ke ye, this petiole hone ke wajah se, the leaf gets a chance to actually hang out like this and it can face the sun directly. As compared to ke agar leaves aise hote, so the sun could not face nahi kar sakte the as compared to this. You can actually hang out. Okay? I hope I'm making sense. Yeah. Right? So lots of points over here. Now, moving on to this. Okay? And I'm giving you some time. In fact, you have to do a sort of class work assignment. Hai. I'm giving you five minutes, uh, Abdullah. In your notebook, you write down as many microscopic features as many microscopic features which you can see on this diagram which have 
a connection with photosynthesis. So I'm giving you five minutes. Exactly after five minutes, I'll be asking you to read out your answer, right? Besides the general macroscopic and the microscopic adaptations of a leaf for photosynthesis, sometimes in A2 paper, paper four me, uske jo essay wala part hai, they give you a question, six to seven mark ka, okay, what are the adaptations of a palisade mesophyll cell? Ya essay mesophyll cell. Agar sif mesophyll cell pucha to palisade spongy dono ke liye likhenge. And sometimes they only ask it, uh, ask about the palisade adaptations only. So the palisade cell hai na, jo aapko pichli wali slide mein essay packed nazar a rahe the, packed like this, for example, I'll just draw it over here. Okay. And I am drawing the chloroplast. Right. So <clears throat> each pink dot that I have made is a chloroplast. And the chloroplast is an organelle that contains large amount of chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll is a pigment that is capable of trapping sunlight. If I want to describe more about how the chloro uh, these palisade cells are adapted for photosynthesis, I would say ek sabse pehli baat, they contain chloroplasts. They are closely packed columnar. Columnar ka matlab hai? Column ki tarah. Aise, longitudinal. Closely packed columnar cells arranged with long axis perpendicular to the surface. In ka jo long axis hai, wo surface se perpendicular hai, hai na? Mm. It's perpendicular. Upar wala surface ye aur in ka long axis perpendicular hai. So this is going to reduce the number of light absorbing cross walls and increase the surface again. Light aegi for an strike karegi. So it's going to increase the surface area for the absorption of light. You have to actually mention it like this. Then a core bar. I don't know whether you remember that you had done cytoskeleton in AS. Any idea? Do you remember what was the function of cytoskeleton? Yeah, this word is not remember. Do you remember? Yeah. Basically, the cytoskeleton, jo hota hai na, like for example, if this is cell, hai na, if this is the cell, as Kupari drawing Banari, and if let's say this is the nucleus, cytoskeleton is uh, microtubules kind of structures. Hote hai, idhar udhar, aise karke. Naam se pata chal hai, cytoskeleton. Ek skeleton jo cytoplasm mein hai, yani microskeleton. Hum sab ke cells ke andar ye cytoskeleton hota hai, and it actually helps in the cells to do some movement wali activity. For example, flagellum may cytoskeleton hota hai. Cilia also move, isn't it? Cilia move karte hai. So if any, any part of the cell, it moves, it means it's in the cytoskeleton hai. So similarly, jab ka chloroplast hai na, chloroplast also has its own cytoskeleton, which enables it to move. Kaise move? Okay, for example, agar ek chloroplast yaha baitha wa hai idhar, so it can actually move and move to this distance. Ki taraf, to the edge of the cell, it can actually move. And this movement will allow the chloroplast to be as close to the sunlight as possible. Samajhaan gai baat? Yes. Nahi samajhaan. Thank you. So, the, oh, the cytoskeleton ke wajah se the chloroplast are able to move to Moves. all the edges of the plant. Hmm. Yeah, for example, if you have a chloroplast padha hai na, idhar padha hai, it can actually move to this distance. If it's here, it can move to it. Or uski jo movement hai na, it is directly proportional to the amount of sunlight. Jahan sunlight aegi, wa uski taraf direction direct ka uska. Right? Thik hai? Achha. And then, every palisade mesophyll cell also has an extremely thin wall. Usually, the plants ki cell walls thick hoti hai, right? Lekin iski thin hai. Again, kyun thin hai? Because to reduce the diffusion path pe efficient light penetration. Thik hai? Chloroplasts are at the edge of the cell. Peritri ka matlab hota hai edge. Again, why? Short diffusion pathway. Jab aapko na examina kata hai na, you write down the structural adaptation. So, the, your job is to write the structure and then tell the examiner ke what is that thing in the structure that's going to help in photosynthesis. For example, agar mein kati hu ke bhai, chloroplasts are at the periphery of the cell, to the answer mera incomplete. I have to say, I have to say ke this is going to decrease the diffusion pathway, shorten the diffusion pathway, right? If I say the chloroplast has a non-pigmented vacuole, then there is no vacuole, there is no pigment. Hai. Usually, there is pigment in vacuoles. 
लेकिन इसके वैक्यूल में पिगमेंट नहीं है तो क्या होगा जब कोई चीज ट्रांसपेरेंट होगी पिगमेंट ही नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा लाइट अंदर आ जाएगी आराम से ठीक है टू कट शॉर्ट the palisade mesophyll cells and the spongy mesophyll cells have got every reason to be those cells which are going to help directly in photosynthesis why because they have been provided with certain structures that are going to facilitate or expedite this process any questions no questions <clears throat> no so we now move to Uh, meeting is ending in ten minutes, so I'll be just taking five minutes more. Okay. I hope you're not tired, Abdullah. Why, miss? No, no, I'm not tired. Okay. 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 and adaptation of a what chloroplast ab dekho hum hum humne shuru kahan se kiya we are now actually sort of zooming into a plant we began with we began with a leaf right we started with the macroscopic structure of the leaf we went into the macroscopic structure jo humne abhi pura ye palisade mesophyll or spongy mesophyll aur ye sab kiya theek hai एंड नाउ वट आर वी डूइंग हम इसके भी अंदर जा रहे हैं कहा जा रहे हैं हम एक क्लोरोप्लास्ट के अंदर दैट वन टाइनी क्लोरोप्लास्ट वी आर जूमिंग इन टू इट ठीक है वी हैव जूम इन टू दैट क्लोरोप्लास्ट और अभी तो हमारा जूम करने का सफर और लंबा होगा यू नो वी आर गोइंग जूम इन मोर सो बट फॉर टूडे आई थिंक दिस जूमिंग इन इज इनफ सो लेट्स डू दिस बिट हाउ डज अ क्लोरोप्लास्ट लुक लाइक सो इट्स एन ऑर्गेनल ठीक है विच इज अडेप्टेड फॉर फोटो Chet has got many many similarities to the mitochondrion. कैसे? The mitochondrion also had two membranes. It also has two membranes. So hence, by that definition, I would say the chloroplast has an envelope, because any organelle which has two membranes is said to be possessing an envelope. जो कि इसमें है. अच्छा. Mitochondrion का अपना cytoplasm था. इसका भी अपना cytoplasm है. What was the name of the cytoplasm of the mitochondrion? Do you remember, Abdullah? Um, just the Krebs cycle. Hota tha. Matrix. Is my link or what? Yes, matrix. Yes, 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 okay. matrix. So instead of matrix, the name of the cytoplasm of the chloroplast is stroma. ठीक है? Yeah. Stroma. Okay. Matrix में chemical reactions used to happen. Stroma में भी chemical reactions are happening. ठीक है इन द माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन वाज मोर पॉमिएबल एंड द इनर मेम्ब्रेन वाज लेस पॉमिएबल एंड इट वाज फोल्डेड टू फॉर्म क्रिस्टी यहां पे भी वो फोल्डेड है लेकिन उसके फोल्ड्स का जो कंटिन्यूएशन है ना वो इस डायग्राम में नहीं दिखाया गया एक्चुअली ये फोल्ड्स जो है ना ये वाले ये सारे जाके इनर मेम्ब्रेन पे लगते हैं ये सारे फोल्ड्स इन द ट्रू सेंस दे आर लाइक दिस ठीक है सो Just like the mitochondrion, the inner membrane of the chloroplast is folded, not into Christi, but these folds are actually known as thylakoid membranes. तो कहते हैं हम thylakoid membranes. अच्छा, अब मुझे बताओ अब्दुल्ला, what what significant structure was found on the Christi? याद है कुछ? Christi, मैं वो लेकिन इसके पास एक चीज एक्स्ट्रा है okay over there the christi was folded over here the thylakoid membranes are folded over uh, over here the thylakoid membranes also have the stock particle they also have etc and they also have lots of different kinds of photosynthetic pigments theek hai acha were there any starch grains in the mitochondria yes or no no 
नो ऑफकोर्स नॉट इसलिए कि माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिक का काम ही नहीं था फोटो सिंथिस करना ठीक है हेयर इट्स वेरी वेरी अंडरस्टैंडेबल दैट द क्लोरोप्लास्ट शुड हैव अ स्टार्च ग्रेन वो कहाँ स्टोर करेगा अपना सारा ग्लूकोज जो बनाएगा इट विल स्टोर इट इन द स्टार्च ग्रेन ठीक है अच्छा अनादर सिमिलैरिटी द माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया हैड सेवेंटी एस राइबोजोम सो द क्लोरोप्लास्ट ऑल्सो हैज सेवेंटी एस राइबोजोम इसके पास भी सेवेंटी एस है The mitochondria had its own DNA, so the chloroplast also has its own DNA. जो कि यहाँ पे बना हुआ नहीं है, I'll make it circular DNA. Yeah. The circular DNA of the mitochondria. इसके पास अपना DNA है. Okay. सही है. ठीक है. बहुत सारी चीजें वही वही. Yes. Another thing, the chloroplast has lipid droplets. तो ये lipid droplets जो होते हैं ना, होता है ये है कि मैंने chlor Plast becomes old and there's breakdown of cell membrane. So cell membrane में phospholipids होते हैं, तो वो lipid droplets की जाके store हो जाते हैं. But right now we are not bothered about the lipid droplets. We are more concerned about the thylakoid membranes. जो के अब इसमें एक दो चीजें बस रहती हैं. Then I'll end my uh, lesson today. कि अगर आप इन thylakoid membranes में zoom in करो ना, तो ये ऐसे हैं. I'll just show it to you over here. मैं खुद ही बना के दिखा देती हूँ. It's like this. For example, if I मेक अथाइलेक्वाइड मेम्ब्रेन तो ये ऐसे नजर आएगी ऐसे करके ठीक है ये ऐसे जा रही है राइट या और ऐसे 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 फोल्ड हो रही है यहाँ पे सो बेसिकली ले आई एम जस्ट टैकिंग अप मेनी मेनी थाइलेक्वाइड मेम्ब्रेन्स और मेनी मेनी थाइलेक्वाइड स्पेसेस तो ईच वन ऑफ दिस Each one of these is a thylakoid space. ये भी thylakoid space है, ये भी thylakoid space है. Yeah. If yeah, we have a bundle of thylakoid spaces like this, gram. बस. और दूसरी चीज़ कि one one of such bundle ये कितने सारे bundle हैं ना? They are connected to other bundles by these lamella. तो in reality, in a, in the true sense, ये lamella भी actually a thylakoid membrane ही है. It's just connecting two granules together. ठीक है? Are you getting that? Yeah. ठीक है, with that we end today's lesson and okay. then we will continue 